Hey kids, how are you today? All right, so we are gonna do another drawing. Let's see what our word is. We'll open up our pouches so we have access to our pens and stuff. And let's see, we've done breakfast. I drew a cup of coffee and my bowl of yogurt. We drew a face yesterday. Now we need to do a flower. Oh, I like to draw flowers. Fun fact, when I try, try to draw roses, most of the time I think they start, they come out looking like tulips. I don't know what the deal is with that. Some of you all maybe can draw flowers way better than I can. You don't have to do complicated flowers. You can do something very, very simple. So I'm gonna show you here, are you ready? So first let's write our word at the bottom. So it's flower. Is it flower singular or plural? Singular. So flower, one flower. So just draw a circle in the middle. We're not worried about neat lines. Messy lines are fine. I'm using our just plain old pen. You have collected hopefully some pens and markers and things from your craft supplies or you've asked mom and dad if they have a pen or a pencil you can borrow. You can use pencil if you want, that's totally fine. So that's gonna be our flower center. And then for the petals, we're just gonna do these big, long loops. Big, long loops. They don't have to be all the same size or the same shape. Nature is not perfect. Nature is about being imperfect and irregular. So I'm gonna go over them a couple of times, make them look sketchy and messy. I, I like the sketchy and messy look like that, yes? Then we are going to draw maybe a leaf shape, like if the leaves were sitting behind the flower, right? So we're gonna do a curved line and then another one with a point right here. And we'll draw a line up like the center of the leaf. Then we'll do another one over here. And I like things in sets of three, so we'll put another one right here. Right, then we're gonna take the center of the flower and I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of little small dark dots with my pen. Whole bunch of them. Make it look like the seeds in the center of the flower. If you're not sure uh, what the flowers look like, you can always, if you what kind of flower to draw, you can go look in your backyard, you can look up on the computer. But this is pretty cute, it kind of reminds me of some kind of a daisy. Then I'm going to put some just little sketchy lines. I'm starting with the pen here at the base and then I'm flicking it up and lifting it at the same time so it leaves a mark but that end of it over here fades out. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna have the pen here and I'm gonna flick, and as it moves towards me, I'm lifting the pen up. They don't have to all be the same length. Just like that, okay? Oops. All right. Then I'm going to take some of my mark making tools, my crayons and markers, maybe my pencils. Let's see, what do I have over here? I have a brown pencil. Let's use that for the center. That's pretty good. Let's take our crayon and let's use our green crayon on the leaves. You don't have to color the whole thing. You can do like the face where you just highlight certain parts of your sketch or you can do the whole thing. It's up to you. Sorry if we're moving a little bit. My table is shaking a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, I like that. Now I wanna go over that with a little bit of the marker, but what I wanna do first, we talked about this in one of our first drawing videos, right? I wanna go through and like scratch over the crayon and what that does is spread out the crayon just a little bit, but more importantly, it takes off some of the layer of wax that's on there. So that when I take my marker and do this, it wants to stick. So because the marker is darker than that crayon, I'm going to use it to add some shadows to my leaves. Make the leaves look more like they're sitting behind a flower. Yep. Okay, then the flower petals, we could leave them yellow, and I think for the most part I will, but I think down towards the base, I'm going to take this purple crayon and just add some color to make the flower look like it's in the center of the flower and it's coming up and out, and so that part near the center would be darker. There we go. I like that. I like the way that looks and I'm going to leave it at that. So today I want you to draw a flower and I want you to have fun with it and I'd love to see what you do. If you're able to, with mom and dad's permission to share um, on uh, one of the social media platforms, um, then do let me know and always, always ask mom and dad's permission first though, um, especially if you're not of an age to do that. Uh, but you should always have your parents' permission. And um, above all, go out and have some fun with this. Take a few minutes, do a little sketch. It really will um, help. Um, it'll help take your mind off of things. I know you're missing your friends right now, but do a little sketch and have a little play. And maybe you all can get together if you're allowed to go on the internet and chat with your friends. Maybe you all can do a sketch together uh, via you know FaceTime or something and then you can all share how you're doing it and what you're using that would be a lot of fun have a little sketch party all right that's it for today don't forget the most important thing go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it also mind mom and dad though and help them out around the house while you're home all right that's it guys I'll see you later